the equatorial spitting cobra. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. I wonder where that frog is going. Let's follow it too. Careful, Hero. You'll scare the frog away. Huh? Something else is hidden inside the bush? Ah, a snake! Better keep a distance, Hero. It's a snake in our garden. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Yikes! Katie, where are you? We found a snake in the garden. Hi, Leo. Oh, wow. It seems to be some kind of cobra. You can tell by the flap of skin that's spread out near its head. A cobra? Can you find more information about it? Leave it to me. Great, I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here and keep your distance from the snake, okay? I'll be right back. <coughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The cobra you found is an equatorial spitting cobra, also known as a black spitting cobra. It is called a spitting cobra because it is able to shoot venom from its fangs. Venom is a toxin, like poison, and is found in some animals such as cobras. Venom can be passed to a person or another animal through a bite or sting. Many cobras defend themselves by injecting venom through their bite, but a spitting cobra prefers to spit or spray venom at a predator's eyes to scare them away. The spitting cobra wiggles its head the same way your eyes move. This helps the cobra's aim when it sprays its venom. That's scary! Actually, spitting cobras are shy animals. They only attack when they feel threatened. Still, equatorial spitting cobras can shoot venom up to three meters away. So it's best to keep your distance. I'll make sure to remember that, Katie. Equatorial spitting cobras live in different forests in Southeast Asia, where they eat small animals like lizards, frogs, and rats. Hmm. I don't think it's safe for us to be near the spitting cobra. We should return the cobra to its natural home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers Ah, I see you've brought a special friend with you today Here, you'll need these if you're going to be near that spitting cobra Glasses? Safety glasses, Leo the venom from spitting cobras can harm your eyes. That's why it's very important to wear these glasses for protection. When threatened, the spitting cobra will aim to shoot its venom at an enemy's eyes. The venom that the spitting cobra sprays causes pain to the eyes and sometimes blindness. You will know when you've gotten too close to a cobra when it flares the flap of skin around its head and neck. This flap of skin is called a hood. A cobra will spread its hood when it feels threatened. I see. We'll be careful not to get too close to the cobra. We're trying to find the spitting cobra's home. Do you know where we should look? 
Spitting cobras like to live near water, in burrows or under rocks, where they can hunt for food. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is an open field with some trees. And on this side are rocks and trees near a stream. Do you know where we should go? Over there is an open field with some trees. And over there are rocks and trees near a stream. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to the place near a stream because spitting cobras can hunt for food near water. Let's go! What's wrong with the cobra? The spitting cobra is getting into a defensive pose. Why does it keep flicking its tongue? Spitting cobras have a very good sense of smell. They use their tongues to pick up scents in the air. Do you think it might have picked up the scent of a predator? <laughs> <gasps> they don't look very friendly. They are mongooses. It says here that the mongoose is the cobra's natural predator. Did you see that? The cobra sprayed venom at that mongoose, but the mongoose looks fine. It says here the mongoose is resistant or immune to cobra venom. That means cobra venom has no effect on the mongoose. What do we do now? We're surrounded. I'll clear a path for us. Thanks, Katie. Hold on tight, everyone. Phew, that was close. What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the spitting cobra's home, just look for a hole near a stream. Not for a red laser beam or a bucket of ice cream, but look for a hole near a stream. I see. So not for a red laser beam or a bucket of ice cream, but, but look, look for, for a hole near, near a, stream. a stream. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. OK, Hero, to find the spitting cobra's home, you have to look for a hole near a stream. Good luck! <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the spitting cobra's home. Could this be the spitting cobra's home? Hmm, this hole already belongs to an owl. Carry on, Hero. Is this log the spitting cobra's home? No, another animal lives inside. Let's continue. What's this? There's a stream, and there's an empty hole under a rock. This seems like a good home for the cobra. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Goodbye, little friend. We did it! We found the Spitting Cobra's home! Great job, everyone! Hooray! Yay! We found an equatorial Spitting Cobra in our garden! We learned that the spitting cobra can spray venom when threatened. That's why it's best to keep a safe distance from the spitting cobra. So we went to the forest and brought it to its natural home, far away from other humans. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. Thank <laughs> you.